guest is a supermodel and an author. I know! Uh, she's written a book called A Model Summer, which is now in paperback. Please welcome the adorable Paulina Poroskova, everybody. Paulina Poroskova. They adore you, as do I, Paulina. Hello, George Clooney. George Clooney? Oh, jeez, you know. Well, didn't you didn't you say that in the beginning of the show? Just what, George me, Clooney? Call, what, me, call George? me George. No, oh no, don't call me George Clooney. I meant <laughs> call me George Clooney. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think I meant call me George Clooney? Well, I'm not a supermodel for nothing. No, no, come on, you're not one of them supermodels. Look, you've written a book. I know we're having a book club, aren't it is, we? It's a bit book yeah. club. I'm like the new Oprah. <laughs> Big seal over here. Yeah, yeah. Craig's Book of the Month. Uh, so, uh, so pretty I, good reading. I am. Um, I, I, is this an autobiography? No, actually, it's not an autobiography. It's not? No, no. Is, this, is is, a... this is fiction, just like your book. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, you know, loosely based on things we know, yet not about uh, us, right? Yeah, right? yeah, that's right? what my book. Some, well, my like book that? was just real stuff, and then I just changed the name so that nobody knew. <laughs> that's called a Romana Clef. A Romana Clef? Yes. I see you're brainy. I'm, I'm pretty smart for a model. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, you're smart for you're smart for a human. For a and, human and, being. Thank are you. you now? Are you from Czechoslovakia, aren't you? Yes, I was born in the Czechoslovakia, uh, in Czechoslovakia, and now it's uh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. Now, I uh, Kafka was from the Czechoslovakia. Wasn't you know, uh, yeah, he was, but I don't think he spoke Czech. I think he spoke German only. Really? And he, yeah, and he lived in Prague. And yes, in my book. Is my Kafka in your book? Yeah, he's making a personal appearance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you have a, giant, a guy who turns into a giant bug in your book? Uh, no, but I have uh, uh, a guy going through a lot of red tape in the book. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> the trial. I know, I know. Okay, look, I I'm, know. Just, I'm just helping. Just I didn't really know, I just said I knew. Uh, yeah, I know, I noticed. I saw that in your you know, eyes. I, so you, I thought you shamed I'd help me. you a little. You bit. shamed me with your superior knowledge of Kafka. But it, you know what? The only one, the only Kafka I didn't get through was the castle. That was just, that was just like my heroine in the book. She, I gave her the castle because the castle is impossible to get through. It was like 600 it's, pages it's of, of nothing. Yeah. But, um, but he's the only other Czech writer I know. You and, oh, and what Kafka. about, what about Kundera? Oh, and Václav Havel as well, I guess. Václav Havel was yeah. a writer. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Josef Skoretsky, the engineer of human souls. I feel such a fool. Yes, you yeah. should. But you know what? It's what? okay because I don't know that many other Scotsmen except for Scotty on Star Trek. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> He's not Scottish? He's Sco not Scottish? Not Scottish. What do you mean? Canadian. <gasps> Travesty. No, no, no. He wears men's clothes, but he's Canadian. <laughs> 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 what about, did you become, did you become an American citizen? And you became an American citizen. I did. Congratulations. Thank you very, thank much, you very much indeed. I'm very thank happy you. to be Welcome here. Welcome to the United yeah, States. thank you. Yes. So you, thank you. I, I have to ask this right away. So, so you, you became a citizen just in time to vote, right? Yes, yes, I, I did. You're yeah. not going to cancel my vote, are you? No, I'm not going to cancel your vote. Well, I mean, if you vote against the person I'm voting for, then you will cancel me out, and that's not cool. Well, who are you going to vote for? Uh, I'll tell you. Exactly. That. See? No, I, I think... I don't want to tell. You know, no, you shouldn't case. tell. I think uh, the secret ballot is there for a reason. I am, I am tired of people in show business going, vote for the guy I'm voting for. No. Why? Because you can dance? Bug off. No. <laughs> I'll vote for the guy I'm voting for. Okay. I think that's all right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Plus... Plus, I'm sure you probably know that um, I have been, uh, you know, I have been voted as a, somebody who can't dance, so I can't even say that. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't sorry, really want to go back it. to no. the very painful memory of uh, yeah. being well, the most unpopular person. No, you weren't unpopular. It was just that America felt that your dancing needed a little help. When no, you that is not true. That is not true. Well, well, that is not true. The judges put me squarely in the middle. I was not a horrible dancer. I was actually, they said I had lots of potential. Uh -huh. And my, 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 my uh, points were, you know, actually, I was, we were third. So I was, you know, America just didn't like me. 
Let me just have a word with them. Come here. Come here. Come here. Closer. Knock it off. <laughs> Knock it off. And no pineapple on the pizza. <laughs> I've, I've been hearing that people have been putting pineapple on their pizzas. I know. I can hardly believe it myself. Yeah, that's, ever... that's sick. Anyway, uh, just know, regarding, wait, I, want, I, wanted, I wanted to say this because how, how long have you been coming to the United States? I've... I mean, like, how long did you have a visa? Um, for about 10 years, I think, or maybe oh, okay. longer. I, I, I mean, I've been a citizen for about four months, and I've lived here for 13 years. Uh, so I, there's all sorts of... Okay, you know. no, because when I first applied for an American visa, and this is like 26 years ago... Kind so of you just, when money. you were born? I, when I was born. <laughs> and I had to sign out some papers. The thing that really freaked me out was that I, I got this application form, and on it, there was a question that said... Have you ever been a uh, member of the Communist Party or been declared legally insane? Same question, yes or no? <laughs> yeah, that, that one's not there anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank goodness. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I had a really tough time deciding. Yeah, yeah. So, did, well, you got in, so clearly you... Yeah, you're... I lied. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. <laughs> we gotta go. Polina Poniskova, everybody. We'll be right back. So, Craig, how about being single? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna give it up pretty soon. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna find someone and just marry the pants right off them. <laughs> That's... What, what sort of women do you like? I like... I like tall women. Mm -hmm. I like women who are intelligent. I like women who are beautiful, but overall, the characteristic I'm looking for in a woman is lack of bitterness. Oh. <laughs> now, I tell you why, only because I have so much bitterness of my own yes, yes, that I don't I... think it would mesh together. But in order to get a woman that's not even a little bit bitter, you might have to go rather low in age. <laughs> I'll do what I have to do. Please welcome the lovely Polina Porotskova, everybody. Polina Porotskova. Please, please take a seat. Oh, thank you. How are you, Polina? Uh, very well indeed. I've had a lovely day. Yeah, you look healthy. Yes, and I wanted to congrat. <laughs> it's makeup. Oh. I wanted to congratulate you on finding a non-bitter woman. To oh, marry. you mean because I got married? I, and the last time you were here, I said you said to me, what, "Am I looking for in a woman?" And I said, "Someone who isn't bitter." Yeah, you yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm very happy that, no, that I, it was memorable I, enough. I, it was yes, good. I wouldn't forget. Excuse me a second. I just noticed my shoelace is untied. Do you mind if I tie it? <laughs> I think the wind must have blown and untied my shoelace. <laughs> You were a model for a long time, right? Did the wind ever blow and reveal your breasts when you didn't want them revealed? Oh my God, yes, like every day. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, you're European, but you don't European. mind. But you're European. Yes, you Our don't tops mind blow off all the time. Tasha, you can't. <laughs> the winds in Europe are so strong. Yes. Most people are naked the year round. In Sweden, they are. They are. It's windy. It's and very windy in Sweden. And you know we're used to it. When our clothes blow off, we don't think anything of it. Yes. Uh, well, but you're not Swedish or Czechoslovakian. No, actually, I have a Swedish passport. Really? As well as an American passport. Are you a spy? <laughs> you would make a good spy. I would, wouldn't yes, I? Yes, you would. Yeah, actually. but I wouldn't want to die at the end of the movie. Well, I, okay, you don't have to. Yeah. Well, no, well, you're you usually you're a very pessimistic no, you, you, person. Well, well I'm, because I'm Czech. That's my. That's my. Oh, you well, know, that's, that's, that's Yeah. That's yeah. A, it, you know, we we all f are very pessimistic about life in general. Yeah. And when somebody hurts you, uh, if you're Czech, you throw yourself out the window. That's how you protest <laughs> things in Czechoslovakia. Yeah. That's yeah. why they never won a war. No. 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 You you want to <laughs> let's let's well let's begin the rehabilitation now. Uh, what you want to do if when someone hurts you is uh, you know you go like this. Ooh. 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 Yeah. 
Do, do you enjoy Salvador Dali? Love Dali. Do love really? Dali. Yeah, he was a really interesting man. Very interesting. And very his strange. wife was an interesting Gala. person. Gala. Yeah, was it yes. Gala her name? I think so. I, you know what? I'm not, um, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to swear on that one, but I just, I, I know the relationship was really interesting between the two of them. Although, as far as painters go, I'm really kind of a Picasso girl. I like a bit of Picasso. Yeah. 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 I, I would like nothing to Nothing I like one. better than an eye here and then one over here. I'm like, <laughs> That's, that's entertainment right there. That's the art world's version of jazz hands, right there. <laughs> Tell me about the America's Next Top Model. How are you doing working with Tyra? She can be a barrel of laughs. Yes, I, I, I am sure she can uh, be. Wow! <laughs> Hang on, let me listen, see if I've got listen, any milk in uh, here. Uh, that hurt uh, yourself. Listen, you know, do you know why I'm in Los Angeles, besides seeing you? Yeah, why? As, as lovely and charming as it is, because I'm looking for a job, because I was fired by America's Next Top Model no on my way. birthday. Wow, well, yes. welcome to the show. did well. Jeez. So, do you have a job? Sure, yeah, you can do the ooh thing here if you want, or something. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Oh, there, it works. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, well, the, who fired you, and for what? Well, the way it was put to me... That's a large cup. The way it was... Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Your chair is higher than mine. Yeah, but I need a big cup, too. I know. Um, There's still people here, you know. But it's so easy to forget. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. That's enough of uh, that. Anyway, now, who fired you from uh, the... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, uh, well, okay, no. No, you're not who fired me. That's Im That doesn't matter. Somebody fired me. Oh, yeah, who? Uh, well, when you were, let, just give us a clue. When you were fired, did anyone do this? <laughs> did they say, you are fired, like that? It's hard to see over the phone. Oh, oh, the phone. Yes, oh. uh, uh, but the, the, the reason I was fired, just to be fair here, the reason right. I was told I was fired was because um, it, it seemed that America's top model had gotten too fat and they needed to cut some fat and the fat was me. Um, you know. You're, you're skin and bone, woman. There's hardly anything to you. It's not that I was too fat. I oh, was I see. the fat. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The you metaphorical know. fat. Yes. Right. You mean you got it now? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. Good. Sorry, Great. I wasn't concentrating. Not... <laughs> There's still people here, you know. There's still people here. <laughs> So, uh, so, so, um, so, so I figured it was either that, you know, uh, it was, I think that was a nice way of putting it. And I could have been either that or my gigantic, huge ego. Which I wasn't aware of before I was told by the producers that I had an I don't ego think problem. Of, I don't think of you as having an ego problem? I didn't either, but you know, Tyra. Oh, I see what this is. What? <laughs> because I, I, do, I don't. I see what? what it is. What? It's rivalry, isn't it? It's you and Tyra. Well, I was working for her, so it's not quite rivalry. Well, yeah. It's not fair yeah. if you're working. I mean, it's, you know, the, the people that work for you can't... You I know, fire them all the time. They get too pretty. I fire them. <laughs> the minute they walk out, you look out, you're starting to look pretty good. He, they, they walk in here, if, if they outside me, they're gone. Well, you're funny. Out. It's true. They're all... I get you're them out. funny, good-looking, and you wrote a book. Yes, out you go. Yeah. Is, is, is that what I asked you? No, think? no, 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 absolutely not. I really believe that they just felt like they didn't need me, which of course they don't. So that's okay, but you know. Um, so um, you're looking for a job here I'm, in, I'm in LA? I'm looking for a job. What kind of thing are you looking for then? Uh, I, well, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing Starbucks if, if it wasn't sort of humiliating. No, know? no! It's, like, not I mean, no <laughs> it's not humiliating to work at Starbucks, but you know, to be as like, wait, aren't you the model at them working at Starbucks? That's they have good, they have really good Not uh, if you're actually the one doing the, the espresso drinks. That's the, that's the big job. You know, if you get the actual, <laughs> yeah, if you get the psh, psh, psh machine. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. the equivalent to having your own sitcom. So, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not sure if I can, um, I've never auditioned for a job like that. I don't quite know what to do. What, to be a to barista? Do, yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. No, no, but what do I do? I don't know. I'll open a Starbucks. I'll give you the job. There you are. Right? <laughs> Do you hear me, Starbucks? And you know what else I'll do? I'll reinstitute the uh, zucchini walnut muffin that they got rid of in Starbucks, those bastards. You heard me. Very, very, very impolite of them. Yeah, I know. The zucchini walnut muffin was their, uh, for me, their signature item. You know, but apparently it was taking up space that could otherwise be used for jazz CDs. Whoa. 
what, what, what's, what's with those jazz CDs? I don't know. I don't know. Well, yeah, but I, would, I, I feel a little left out. Because I, I don't understand. You, you don't understand jazz? I don't understand why it's funny. What, jazz CDs? Uh-huh. They're, they're not funny. They're not funny. Well, mo most of them aren't. No, I, I haven't heard all of them. I'm sure there's some hilarious jazz out there. <laughs> dude, 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 boing. There, that. That'll probably be the, the funny jazz. We're completely out of time. Oh, well, there you go. Well, you, you've probably got some time because you don't have a job. I, but I, 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 on the other hand. I'll just stick around here and mop the floor. Well, all right, no, we, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out something. <laughs> Paulina Poscoro, everybody, we'll be right back. guest, first guest, a guest that's coming on the show soon. How soon? Now! <laughs> Is a supermodel and an author. She's a friend of the show. She's a very beautiful Paulina Poritskova, everybody. <laughs> It's very Thank shiny. You. It, it, it is very shiny, and actually, I I, uh, I designed it myself. You did not. I did. Really? And sometimes it can end up in catast catastrophe, but um, I guess you like it, so it's okay. No, I do. I like it very much indeed. Did you make it? Well, no, not like you know, not like hand stitched it or anything. I found a fabric and I I drew it. Right. And I handed it to a tailor, and and he made the dress. I think that's rather enterprising. Are you going to start doing that? Are you going to open your own line of clothing? Uh, you Paulina's? Know, uh, that sounds nice. Uh, Paulina, Paulina's clothing. Oh, just Paul pee pee. Pee pee clothing. <laughs> that's brilliant. Careful, Craig. You wake up the censor. Uh, all right, don't worry about it. So that's Jeff over there. He he's, wasn't he's, here. he's pretty sexy. No, he wasn't really? there the last time I was here. No, no he, he's, uh, he's... Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think, he, Hi. I, I think he quite likes you. I like thin men. Ooh la la, splash. Yeah, yeah, no, it's steady. Easy, tiger. He doesn't have any genitalia, you know. <laughs> that, that, that could oh, bother me. no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> No, he doesn't. He, uh, what happened when he arrived? That's unfortunate. Well, he's got some. It's just been held up at customs. But... <laughs> Jeff Wand. <laughs> It, it would be it would be a problem not to have genitalia. Well, actually, sometimes maybe it could be a blessing. I mean, there, there only if you have children, because then you don't really need. Well, them. you're not going to have children if you don't have any genitalia, though, are you? I mean, no, I no, no. never heard that. All right, all right. <laughs> No, what I meant is you don't need it once you have children. Once oh. you have done it, you don't need it anymore. Are there elves trying to get in? <laughs> Did you hear that? I did. It was an earthquake? Oh, it was Jeff Peterson. Was that some kind of electronic <laughs> fartiness? <laughs> I think that might be a first. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, I know it looks this way, but it's not, but sometimes it looks like he's pleasuring himself. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. I would find it more exciting if he had genitalia. I mean, if he looked like he was... You, you really are attracted to him. I am. I like the robot... You like thin men. You, you like do. Your husband's thin very thin, isn't he? like men. Is, is your husband still uh, very thin? My husband is still very thin. I could probably still... He's six foot four, and I could still probably pick him up. You want to you feed him up a bit? No, I don't like fat men. I like thin men. You don't want to be fat, but you want to feed him up a little bit. You don't want him too thin. What if you those burglars? You know, I think that... Um, I think that... I think that I just lost my train of thought. Well, well, what I'm saying is this. What happens if you're a very thin husband, uh -huh. right? And the burglars come in and they go, oh, look, it's a thin bloke. We'll just lift him up and carry him out of the way. Why would they, would they want to carry a thin man? Because people are attracted to him. Generally, that's just me. No, no, lots of women like thin men. Um, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I've never been that thin to find out. <laughs> I, uh, I can't get thin. I do, I, I'm fairly robust in my tummy area. Are you? Yeah, I get fat very quickly. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you know... What the hell? What the hell? 
Well, you completely judged me right there. You judged me on my... No, you can't go around judging people on their body type. Really? <laughs> well, not in L... Yes, in LA you can, yeah. But not in other places. You know, there's plenty of very clever uh, junky people. What about um, Orson Welles? He got very fat and he was really clever. And? I don't know where I'm going with yeah, this. I'm not but... How are things going? What, what are you doing well, in LA I'm anyway? Not... You working here? Uh, well, I'm back in LA trying to find a job. I think the last time I was on the show, I was trying to find a job. I still don't have a job, so that PP label thing. That may be the way to go. Interesting, interesting. Well, yeah. yeah what kind of a job are you looking for? Well, at this point, I guess I'm, you know, I'm, I'll do pretty much whatever it takes to get insurance. I don't know. <laughs> well, we, we may have something here. Uh, yeah, you could, you could work with Jeff, maybe try and get his, uh, his package through customs. No. No, 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 no. No. no, but uh, but I'm also um, what about here acting? to stimulate. No, well, <laughs> acting. I'm too old. Don't what you are you know? Talking about? I'm That's too old crazy. to act. That's crazy. Uh, listen, l let me tell you a little story. Um, I auditioned at the age of 39 right. for a part with a man who was 44 at the time, and I was told that I did a brilliant audition, but I was too old to play with a 44-year-old man. I'm 48. You can play with me. <laughs> I well I thought I'd make it a little easier yeah. for you but anyway uh, yeah I'm, I'm so I'm in town actually for a whole month we rented a house up in the hills right and we brought our dogs our two dogs and our rat what kind and, of dogs um, uh, Cavalier King Charles and the Schnauzer mini Schnauzer little little guys and a rat and a rat and our is the rat to feed the dogs with <laughs> It's mean, it's evil. No, I think it's I'm... It's a rat. What the hell else could you have it for? It's a pet. A pet rat? It's a pet rat. It is the most delightful little creature you've ever oh, seen. Oh, you see, you've got no, no. Hollywood. <laughs> what, I don't know. How, that, what? Doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense at all. No, I know that. But I what? thought I was New York with a rat. Well, yeah, but New Yorkers don't have pet rats. They have pesky rats. They don't... <laughs> Yeah, but we have lots of them, so if you wanted to have a really cheap pet, you could pick one Did you just, like, off. find a rat in the no, sewer no, no, and uh, no, put no. a collar on it, and that's it? You, you're mine. No, it's a, it's a fancy rat. It's a fancy bread rat. It looks just like a sewer rat, though, except cleaner. And is, it, 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 just fancy, is that, does that mean it's, the rat's gay? Is it a gay rat? Is it, it like, be. fabulous? <laughs> Actually, you know what, they do have the most... Delicious little hands. You really like yeah, rats? Yeah, I really like rats. And he crawls every morning. I put him on my lap and he sort of tears at my bathrobe up here and then he climbs in head first. I'll do that. <laughs> Too small. No, no, I'm good. I'm 48. But you're not a thin man. I'm not a thin man, that's true. My giant, flabby, fat body <laughs> would be in no way attractive to you, unfortunately. Hmm. Um, Did you bring your rat with you? Yes, of course. It came on Pet Airways no, with I mean, my dogs. I mean, you, you mean right here with me here? No. Oh, we're not good enough for your rat then. Is that it? <laughs> uh, my rat, uh, my, yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, no, I, 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 I thought that you might have a, a negative reaction to, you know, pet rat. So I, I, I didn't want to expose him to that kind of negativity.
You're worried about exposing your rat to negativity? <laughs> about becoming a militant rat activist, actually, because do you know, this is, this is really pissing me off, by the way, did you know that you're allowed to bring hamsters and gerbils yeah. and ferrets that eat where babies' do you, where do you faces? Put the wait, wait, wait a minute, right. you're allowed to bring them on a plane, but you cannot bring a rat. But only if you're Richard Gere, you can bring the gerbil on a plane. <laughs> ah. You're not suggesting that I put my rat I'm not suggesting anything about you or Richard Gere for legal reasons, but let me just say this. I think that you don't want rats on planes, because what if they escape and gnaw through the fuel lines? That's what, what they would do. Yes, they would. They'd be like, oh, fabulous little gay rat scurrying about the plane. What's down here? Oh, look, what's this? It looks like it might be soda. Oh, no, it's jet fuel. Oh! You have a point. They yes, actually, of course they, I have they, a point. They, they That's, do like whereas a dog things. will go, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> That's it. Well, I mean, it's up to the owners, of course, to make sure that they stick their rats in their clothing so that it cannot escape. <laughs> We're out of time, you know. I'm not making that up. We really are out of time. That was awfully short. You just want to get rid of me. Maybe. <laughs> no, actually, it wasn't short. That was a full... Uh, Segment. Really? Yeah. I didn't even get to tell you about my husband burning down our house. What? Yeah, that was, see, out of time. <laughs> what, what, what are you, what are you, you give me some kind of hand signal? Zero. What are you saying? Five minutes. Uh, oh, that's how long we've been talking? Yeah. We're not only out of time, we're way over. I can have time. <laughs> no, we're completely out of time. We have to stop. Well, there you All go. right, but will you come back and tell me about your husband burning down your house? <laughs> but I'm sure he burned it's it down. Great, great story. Well, that's what it probably was. He was probably rubbing against a stick, and then... Uh... Why would he be rubbing against a stick? Maybe to pleasure himself. I don't know. Well, he's got me. I don't know what thin men do in their spare time. They do not rub up against sticks. No, I'm sure they don't. Anyway, we've got to go. Yeah. All right. Polina Poroskova, everybody. We'll be right back. One summer day, I woke up to find someone in bed with me. Someone not of the gender to which I am generally predisposed. <laughs> I was very firm with him. I told him, you have exactly three weeks to get out of here. <laughs> Call me, Fabio.